the principal of Alsan Public School, has asked Atif to design a poster for the upcoming Computer Science Talent Competition. Atif has created the poster shown alongside in Publisher. Can you do the same task using the typographic features in Publisher? Open Publisher 2013 located in Microsoft Office 2013. To create a new publication, click the blank thumbnail. If you do not see a blank thumbnail of a size you want, click More Blank Page Sizes and select your preferred size template. The page will now appear on the screen. Insert two text boxes on the page, one for heading and one for other details. Type the text. Now to insert table, click the Insert tab and click the Table button in the Tables group. Select 7 into 3 table layout. You will notice that the table is now inserted. Type the text. You will notice that an additional Table Tools tab appears on the ribbon. Click the Design tab and then click the More arrow of Table Styles in the Table Format group and select Table Style 27. Before we move further, answer this question. The Table Tools tab has two tabs under it. They are Click Format tab under the Text Box Tools after selecting the text in the boxes and in the table. In the Font group, click the Font drop-down menu arrow to select the font Gabriola. Click the Font Size drop-down menu arrow and select 36 in bold for the heading, 16 for the paragraph and 12 for the text in the table. Select the text box and click Format tab under Drawing Tools tab. Select Shape Styles group to the following. Click Shape Fill and select the fill color. Now click Shape Outline and select Outline color. Also change the weight of the lines. Select the text to add typography. Click the Format tab under the Text Box Tools tab. Then in the Typography group, click Stylistic Sets drop-down menu arrow to select the required style. Click the Number Style drop-down arrow and select the required style. Click the Stylistic Alternates drop-down arrow and select the desired style. Click Ligatures drop-down menu arrow and select Standard Only. Before we move on, let's answer this question. To select your own style for a drop cap, you should choose the command Select the first character and click Drop Cap. Now select the desired style from the list or create your own using the Custom Drop Cap command. Finally, save the file and take a clean printout.